so we got 200k. Um, awesome. Couldn't ask for more. Um, so some updates from us. Um, obviously you've hit a lot of the pledge uh, targets already, the stretch targets. Um, you should have the multiple inlay option um, and uh, sorry, multiple ring option now. So if you want to pledge more, you can get a second ring. Um, only we're only only doing up to two. We can't do any more than two. Um, it's going to be a sweet spot sticker that'll go on the back of your phone uh, that'll help you know where the sweet spot is for your NFC ring. Um, titanium ring option will be free, so if you don't want a steel, steel's nice anyway, um, but titanium is just a little lighter. Um, we have sorted out the Android NFC ring unlock app, that's pretty much ready to go. Um, that will be turning up on the Play Store and then you'll get sent a license key so you can unlock that and access it as you want. Uh, Windows Mobile app is probably like two, maybe three weeks away, so it should be there by the time your ring arrives at the latest. Um, it won't include any of the unlock functionality because obviously, you know, the uh, Win Windows Mobile OS is tied down, so we can't actually do that yet. But we will look into that in about three or four months' time. Um, you will be able to have half size ring options now, which is awesome. Um, we will be doing the Stealth Bomber ring, and basically, the Stealth Bomber ring is going to be black metal, so it's going to be steel or titanium, I think, anyway. Don't quote me on that, but. Um, the actual ring itself will be metal, so if it does get scratched, it's not gonna it's not gonna come off. It'll be uh, all the way through. Uh, I think I will have to double check though. Um, five color inlay options, so we're gonna put those out to the to everybody so that you can vote on them. We will get the options through from the factory. We'll probably put about fifteen options, and you probably better pick the top five that'll go out to vote in. But what's more important is that we've got some awesome stretch goals coming. Um, Obviously, one of the next stretch goals is a Windows Mobile app, which we should hit because that's at 110. Um, but then we're going to have the different color options for the ring metal, so you'll be able to have, you know, what um, I think we'll have like five color options for actual metal. So there'll be a blue, uh, green, red, and you'll be able to pick something that suits your style. Um, we'll have ten color inlay options, so that's going to be, um, you know, instead of white here, you'll be able to have like blue, green, red, yellow, carbon fiber, wood, all these different styles. Um, we're going to do a, a, a 250,000 which is a pretty big goal but let's aim for it because it's awesome we'll be doing the uh, transparent inlay cover so you'll be able to see the tech on the inside which should probably be a pretty cool looking thing um, we'll probably give you the option if you want to have like a clear top um, and non-clear bottom or something like that so you can pick and choose um, so clear will, clear will basically be like a colour inlay choice um, and then uh, next two things are um, the Kickstarter edition, the people that got in and did Kickstarter, and the ones that got on the Kickstarter edition rings, which I think was 500 rings, all of the people that got in on 500 rings, so if that if that's one of, if that's you, you will get an extra ring. So you'll get an alpha ring. If you've ordered a normal Kickstarter ring, you will also get a, an alpha ring that will also have the Kickstarter. So it's essentially everybody will get two rings, um, which is an awesome, awesome stretch goal for us. Um, and the last stretch goal which is really worth pushing for if you're an Apple person or you're interested in Apple stuff is we will uh, investigate or continue investigating working with uh, with a NFC sleeve provider to uh, create an app for the uh, iPhone and, and other iOS devices. I assume that initially it'll be for the iPhone. Um, we can't give too much information away about that at the moment but it is something that we are going to gonna look into um, assuming that we get to that stretch goal but it's quite a lot of uh, investment for us and, and because we don't have any objective C guys on our team um, we'll have to bring somebody in to help out with that and that'll be quite a lot of investment on our behalf so you know do help us and if you are interested in getting us to that point now's your opportunity get your friends buying um, so some news um, we've already ordered all the parts for 10,000 rings basically all the parts there's some parts we haven't ordered um, but we've ordered all the parts that have got a long lead time, like 30 days, which is basically the the, uh, the actual tech that goes inside the ring. Um, ordered the first one was about 2,000. We realised we were going to smash 2,000 after about two days, so we ordered 10,000. So we I've written that we've got enough for 10,000 rings. We could probably do about 12,000, um, but you know, 10,000 is a nice, uh, sensible round number. Um, so basically, that should remove some delay from production, which is great. Um, we're also going to China to actually oversee the production so me Tanya uh, Tanya has been replying to lots of your messages and has been organizing a lot of this project uh, and Chris and Chris has been the person that's managed all of our marketing so he did the, the marketing video and all of the renders he his team that he worked with at first 10 have, have been involved in that 
uh, he's going to be coming over to China with us, so the three of us and uh, a few other people. Um, but the three of us are going to be going around all of the factories, seeing how we can improve the product. So it's not going to improve aesthetically speaking, but if we can do things like just shave a few mil off here, or shave like half a mil off, um, or even smaller amounts, you know, just to get that like that more. F it, it looks like a great product already, but if we can just polish it just that little bit more, just to get it a little bit more special, um, then that will be, you know, that's what we're going there for, and and to improve the uh, readability of the normal ring as well. Um, uh, the other thing that we're going to China for. Um, and you will see this because we will be video blogging it as we go through. We'll be up update, uploading a video pretty much every day about what we're doing, who we're going to see, what the process is at this place. Um, what we are going to be doing is kind of just getting a lot of face time with the workers and the factories so that they can understand the product we're using. We'll show them some use cases um, so that they feel involved and attached with it. So uh, when it does come to them producing it, they know what the end goal is and they'll feel attached to, to the NFC ring as a concept. Um, so we're looking forward to that. That's a big trip for us. Um, I don't know if we're going to announce the exact dates that we're going, just from a security perspective, but um, it should be good. Uh, get subscribed to the YouTube channel and subscribe to the blog. So the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash NFC ring. The blog is blog.nfcring.com. Um, and we will be posting periodic updates on there. But you've got some action now. These are the things you need to do, and these are important. The first thing I want you to do is go to a jewelry shop and ask them to measure the finger that you want the ring to be on. Now we could use tech for this or I could tell you to order you know some ring measurement tools like this and that would be fine but it's going to cost you three dollars or something. Now if time's important then order one of these. Keep it lying around. Somebody will want one at some point in the future. If you've got space to saw something it's, it's not huge. Um, you can then do it at home yourself. It'll take a few days to come, maybe longer if you order it from abroad. Um, so that's a three dollar option however if you go to a jeweler's they will also just do it for free. Um, if you live in a city and you're your nearby jeweler, just walk, wander in and, and ask them and say, can I just measure this ring up? They'll do it. Um, they'll probably have a chat with you about what you're doing. Tell them about the NFC ring project, by all means. Most jewelers are completely cool with you going in and just getting a measurement done. Um, we've had a lot of jewelers show interest and say, you know, when can we stock the NFC ring? So if you've got a relationship with us, um, it might be that then you can go back to them and say, well, we've spoken to the NFC ring guys. We might be able to sort something out and we'll be happy to send you some extra rings so that you can go to the jewelers and uh, and so that they can see the, the item for itself um, with the with the hope that the jewelry industry will start selling uh, tech enabled or wearable technology so that's the first thing you need to do and obviously subscribe to the YouTube channel so that's the second thing and the blog and the third thing that you need to do is we we really need people to keep telling their friends about this we really need uh, the community to get involved we've got uh, a forum pretty much ready to roll so we'll be able to have conversations on there you'll be able to ask all of our uh, all of the people that have been involved in the project questions and uh, you'll be able to chat with other members of the community we're also going to handle stuff like the voting for the kickstarter limited edition cover in there and the voting for the f initial first five uh, inlay covers on there so we've got loads and loads of things in the pipeline we need you to do your part which is get to a jeweler subscribe on the blog and the video and uh, keep on telling your friends and helping us promote this because we've got to keep this movement going um, if we want to make something as special as we all hope. Okay guys, good to speak to you all. I hope to chat with you soon. Bye.